what we did, we rolled out this program. I think it's on the next slide. We and we had to sort of train people. Now we wanted to avoid a sheep dip. You know, four thousand people. We've got lecture theatres. We could wheel them in and out as we've done with our recent ethics program. But you know, we're, we're very much a badge mentality. You know, where's the where's the A4 size folder when I've been on a training course? Because I've got them all lined up on my desk. Where's the badge? Where's the certificate that says I've done this? I've attended that. And we didn't want that approach. That's not going to convince people to become customer service focused. We're not Tesco's at the end of the day that might say, we're not going to recruit you because you're not really of that mindset. So we wanted almost, and I use this word and all the IT people panic, virus. We wanted a virus approach that we were going to do a room like yourselves now, and then we'll do another one tomorrow. And then people who are in this room might say, right, I want to become a trainer in this as part of my continuous development and building on you know, what Rob was saying earlier that you know we haven't got that repeat business we haven't got that repeat budget so we will suddenly train you up to then promote this message and over a four or five year period this will spread we wanted to take people out of the comfort zone so I'm coming to Rob I've got the material we've got books of material Corrine nearly fainted didn't she when and I'm saying and this has got to be run in a day massive amount of material we have to cover all this? Oh yes, we have to. We like complicated. We want to move away from complicated. And again, that was the advice that we were getting through Rob and Corrine, that all well and good, lovely material, it all stacks up, it all works, but it's not going to translate across to people. You need to almost cut this in half and get your message across in a different way. So the results so far, so we've put uh, one cohort of coaches through it. I'm pleased to say that I went to a presentation at uh, the end of November. They only had 12 slides, and this was in a day. And I thought that was fantastic. They were, the walls were full of this. The group, there was two of the people that had been on the train, the trainer, had really picked up on this. They'd done their own posters, they'd nicked some of Kareen's. The room was full of things like this. And they'd actually gone out and bought all the toys that you see on your table. But interestingly, I went in two hours into it and nobody had touched them. <laughs> and, it just, and it was almost like waiting for permission to touch them. Or if I pick this up, am I going to get in trouble if I start you know, bending this and pulling this and so on? And I actually mentioned it at the break. I noticed you've, you know, you've gone and bought these resources, but I've not seen anyone use them. Oh, are we allowed to use them? Yes, because it's not in our comfort zone. So straight away afterwards, People are now pulling them, twisting them, tying them up, breaking them. You know, again, the engineers taking the things apart. <laughs> Absolutely fine with that. But no, that's what we're for. We've now got this flexible approach. And this virus is probably spreading faster than the customer service virus because I've been to six presentations and contributed to these presentations since the end of November. And like I say, I'm contradicting myself because they're not using PowerPoint. Do you need a projector? No, no, don't need a projector. Over the last four or five years, we've probably spent a fortune putting projectors in ceiling, <coughs> and now no one's using them. <coughs> no, no, we're not going to use them, and you're not going to get an A4 book. <coughs> At the best, you're going to get a memory stick. That's fine. Or we'll put it on a shared drive, any material. We're not going to print it off. I went to a, a presentation I had to give last week to large aircraft, which is separate to what I'm doing. <coughs> so they're, they're making you know, the Nimrad aircraft and they're getting into customer service. All the management board, in a you know, you know, decent management uh, board room, they're on paper copies of everything. You know, and it, and it was awful. So all the slides I've got here, you know, were in paper form and everybody's reading it. It was the driest, dullest presentation I've probably given <coughs> this year. <laughs> yeah, some a lot worse, but there was, no, there was no fun in it. There was no, it was, the kids' books would have been a lot easier. I'd have rather took a lot of kids' books and then just stood up talking, but I had to sit down and talk through bullet point after bullet point. And, and again, I mentioned this at the end, that if you're gonna roll this out, the learning styles of everybody has got to be picked up. You've got to take it more into account. Because what, what suits that table doesn't suit this table. You know, and, it's, and now people are getting much more aware of it. The slides, for the trainers that I'm working with are as backup really that you might put up. Right, just review where we are because we've got walls full of stuff. We've got permission uh, depending on which part of the site we're on. 
to actually photograph these things. So we're not typing them up anymore, we're not getting them printed. We will photograph these things and put them on a shared drive. And again, that flexible approach. You know, much, <coughs> more, much more to it like that. More interactivity. Nobody's asking anymore you know, in terms of integrated services, how long we're going to be, what we're going to be going through. Well, actually, you're going to drive the agenda. You're going to actually start to think about your learning. What is it you want to get out of this session? Because I've got the slides, and we've also got the, the, the flip charts, we've also got your brains. How are we going to get this in? More emphasis on you. 